Hi there, welcome back to another tutorial on modeling with curves. It has been a while since I last uploaded something, but do not worry, I am keeping this channel alive. I've seen a huge boost in subs and I want to thank each one of you. I also get some really nice comments, so I must be doing something good. Enough with the chit chat, let's get started. In this episode of Modeling with Curves, I will show you how you can model a door with curves. This is based on my other tutorials, so if you have not seen them, there's a link in this video to the fundamentals of this technique. You can model anything with curves, and the setup is really versatile. We need two things, the profile of what you want to model, and the path it should follow. The profile is the cross-section of the model. Once you figure this out, modeling complex things is really easy. When we look at the door, we see three parts, the wall, the door frame and the door. Let's start by modeling this first. Switch to front view by pressing 1 on the numpad. At the bezier curve, rotate in object mode 90 degrees round the x axis. Tab into edit mode. Press V and change the handles to vector. This will make your modeling so much easier. Move this up a bit to the left. You already have the wall. Steal the curve vertice by selecting it and pressing Shift D. Move this a bit down. Now extrude it with E and model the door frame cross section. You can model this the way you need. Use Ctrl to limit movement to an axis or 45 degree angle. You can also use X, Y, Z. You will see me use both. At the end of this, make it a bit deeper so the door fits in. Steal another vertice with Shift D and start modeling the door. You can include a bevel in this process. You can win some really interesting modeling time with this. Remember, you only need to model the cross section of the door. Rename this curve to the door profile. This will help you along the way. Now add a curve circle. Rename this to door path. Add a new collection and rename this to door setup curves. We will be copying this to speed up our workflow. Drag the curves in this collection. Select the door path, go to geometry and under bevel select the door profile. Tab into edit mode and scale this to the point you will get a hole in the center. Change the handles to vector, rotate it 45 degrees around set axis, now scale it to the proportions of a door. Ta-da! You're done! Now make a copy of the collection by using duplicate collection. Rename this to something like door mesh. You can rename it to whatever you want. Select the path and go to object, convert to mesh. This way we get verts to work with. Let's clean this up a bit. Tab into edit mode and select all linked vertices vert by pressing L and press P to make it a separate part. Because we use multiple different curves in the profile, we do not need to worry all parts attach easily. Name the mesh parts respectively to wall, frame and door. Select the frame and tab into edit mode. Clean up this mesh by deleting faces and scaling verts to clean the frame a bit more. Do the same with the wall mesh.
Because we use collections, we can simply duplicate the curve setup and make a new door. Use the eye icon to hide the meshes you do not need. This will make it easier on the eyes and the workflow. You just need to tweak the profile to get a new door. Subdivide it and play with the handle. The setup will not change. Now you have really nice looking geometry. And there you have it, a nice model door and a good setup to make some more doors. But why stop there? This technique can be used for so many things. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and you can always subscribe to my channel for more curve modeling.